Hey folks, Digger Does here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, uh, we're continuing further into the RD Stemano system. And if you've been following my videos, you know, in the last video we covered um, Rainbow and Umbrella. And if you've forgotten what it looks like, here's Umbrella. Whoops. Rainbow, Umbrella. Rainbow umbrella. Well, there's actually a reverse version of it for the number five attack, which is a stab to the stomach, angle five. So, unlike this action here, where the hand comes in front of the stick, as you can see. When we perform the upside down version of them, or what we call reverse rainbow and reverse umbrella, the actions are a little bit different as far as hand positioning goes. Now, when we perform umbrella, this is the upside down version of umbrella. The hand is coming behind the stick. Okay? As you can see. When we do rainbow upside down, the hand comes behind the stick. It's the same action as this, except down here, the hand comes behind the stick. Same action, that's the only difference, is the positioning of the hand. So how would I use this in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Well, let's say my opponent is going to throw a number five, and I'm going to do umbrella as I pass over his arm, my backhand, my line hand, is guiding his stick away from me, out that way. At the same time, I'm striking his arm, which once his hand, or once his stick goes past that point, his whole back, his whole side is open. I can hit the head. I can come back and hit the the arm again. I can hit the underneath of the head. I can do a, uh, what we call willow attack or windmill attack. I can hit that arm over and over and break it. Same thing with rainbow. As I pass off his hand, I'm striking his arm or his weapon. I'm passing off his weapon where I can come back up. Hit the arm, I can come up, hit the side of the head, I can do number 12, I can come under, strike in the arm again, I can attack the legs. So there's a lot I can do off of those. But it, they're very simple. Same as Umbrella and Rainbow. Again, it's just flip-flopped. It goes from here to down here. So to do Ray or Umbrella, you're open out here, coming across. Left hand and back, right hand and front. Right, your stick is in your right hand. So your left hand is your live hand, and you're just going to cross, left hand and back. Now to do umbrella, your arms come across and then out, across, out, across, out. So umbrella, rainbow. And now I'll perform it with a blade so you can actually see the cuts and the angles that I'm doing. Give me just a second. 
I forgot to pull the blade out. So, um, yeah, I got the butcher knife here. Okay, now, umbrella. As you can see, I'm cutting his arm. As I'm passing his weapon, I'm misdirecting his weapon. I'm cutting his arm. Now, what I like to do, if there is no other attack coming in from his other hand, I like to come off of that and cut the arm again. Because my hand's right there by his elbow, my right hand. So basically, I'm trapping his arm against his body and cutting his hand. I want to defang his weapon, or defang the stink is what we call it. Anytime you attack the hand that has the weapon in it, you want to defang that snake. You want to make it to where he cannot fight back anymore. So when I pass over the first pass, I'm going for the arteries in the arms. I'm wanting to cut those. So as I pass over, I'm cutting that. Then, just in case he doesn't drop that weapon, I'm going to come back through and cut his hand again. Just to make sure he drops that weapon. Or at least he doesn't want to use it anymore. Now, what do I do if he does come across with an attack with his free hand? Well, I'm going to do the same path through, and I may still cut, but I'm going to come in and intercept that hand with the blade, and then I may, I'll cut, stab to the throat, stab to the groin, cut, cut. I mean, there's a lot I can do with that. But I want to defang the snakes. So, again, pass through. I see that other, I see the other hand making a move. So I'll intercept it, cut, then come in with another attack. Most of uh, stick fighting styles, when they perform these techniques, I see a lot of them not think about the attacking hand. They're beginning to defang that other hand. So what about Rainbow, okay? As I pass over to do Rainbow, while I'm misdirecting his hand again, I'm cutting his arm. Like the tricep muscle, I'm cutting that. Because once you cut that, he can no longer flex his arm. Okay? With the stick, you're looking to crush that arm. You're looking to break his bone where he cannot use that arm again. So with the blade, I'm going to cut the back of his arm. Now look at what position I'm in now. Now I can either attack his other hand decommission that, or go in for the coup de gras, strike to the eye, strike to the throat. Since that arm's open, I may come back in, cut the other side, come off of that, cut from hip to shoulder. There's a lot I can do there. And these techniques are what I call door openers. I look at the arms as doors, okay, or gates. When you destroy the gates or the doors, the little doors, we'll call the arms the little doors. When you destroy those doors, it opens up the bigger doors, the body, the head, the legs, the groin, all that. It opens all that. So that's why I really prefer 
reversed umbrella and reversed rainbow because it puts me in a position of being inside their body, whether it be on the outside from 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 umbrella upside down umbrella, it puts me on the outside of their body. Still, that big door is open. Once I get past that arm and negated that arm, the little door, his, his body's open. The big door's open. Same way with Rainbow. And I'm coming up. Now I'm on his inside of his body. I can even come up under his arm if I grab, if I parry off and grab his arm that he had his weapon in. I can lift that arm up and it exposes his armpit. I can even attack that armpit because the little door has been negated. Now I'm going after the big door, his body. So that's why these, this technique, these two techniques are my favorite techniques as far as block and attack goes. Remember I said our niece does not have, really have, blocks. They're actually attacks. So when I'm blocking, either using umbrella or rainbow, I'm really attacking his arm, little door, the snake, whatever you want to call it. I am taking that arm out. Then you can focus on the bigger prize, the body. I hope you enjoyed this session. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Give it a like and please come subscribe to my channel. I, I, I really enjoy doing this. It allows me to get into aspects of our niece. I didn't get to get into as a student. Now that I'm Trying to carry on my teacher's work, I'm getting to really look at the stuff that I kind of learned and am having to learn on the fly just like you are. So, as always, folks, do good and deuces. Bye-bye.